Hey guys, it's the Squirrels Nuts bringing you a video from the brand new download content back to Carcand. This is Strike at Carcand. And I really should be in bed right now, but um, yeah, the patch that we had to download to get this was about 1.3 gigabytes in size on the PS3. That took a while, obviously, there was quite a bit of a demand for that. Then it had to install, it kind of hung at 36%, then it logged me out of the PlayStation Network, then it carried on again, and then to top it all off, when it had finished, I tried to, I used a server browser, and it told me that I hadn't got the downloadable content for, this, for the server I was trying to join. So I had to quit Battlefield, come back in again, and lo and behold it went, congratulations, you've now got the Back to Carcan expansion pack, <laughs> which it had already told me it had downloaded and installed. So anyway, that farce out the way, um, I then managed to get into a few games of, um, of the Carcan maps. This particular one, Strike at Carcan, I managed to get in the LAV right at the start. I'm an engineer with an A91. I think it starts off silenced. I was playing with the silencer, but I didn't like it. And I think I switched it halfway through this particular game. Now, one of the things I can tell you is on the PC, when you're playing the PC, obviously there's a, an awful lot of destructibility in the in the buildings and on the ps3 so far um, that's not been quite so apparent it's obviously been a bit toned down to probably to cope with the various memory restrictions on consoles and that kind of thing but i can tell you that the destruction on um, the carcan maps in particular is pretty high you know lot, lots of it's it's more akin to the pc it's probably not as as um, destructible as the PC because we just, you know, the consoles just can't cope with that. But, as you can see here, this building on the right is completely decimated on the corner. Um, it is very destructible and that's, that's great news for console players. One of my favourite um, maps so far has been the um, Peninsula map. Um, I've, that, that looks fantastic. Uh, they've done a great job on the Sharky Peninsula. Beautiful map. Then Gulf of Oman, I'd say, is quite nice, but obviously one of the favourites. Got to be Wake Island. Wake Island, I've I've played a few games, but I didn't play any particularly um, decent games. This was one of the, the more decent games that I had. As you can see, I'm having a right laugh in this LAV, tearing it up. Eventually, we get. Uh, overcome but you know not before I get quite a few kills <laughs> and take out some guys and blow some stuff up really enjoyable um, but yeah Wake Island what's happening on that at the moment is uh, everybody's trying to get in the in the new vehicles so they're all trying to get in the F-35 and <laughs> so many people are just getting in there and binning it I've seen guys get in the helicopters and you know, utterly fail. I was a gunner in a helicopter and he flew so low that I couldn't do anything. I couldn't take out the other helicopter. So there's an awful lot of fail play going on right now. People getting used to the maps, people getting used to the new vehicles. Um, but you know, it's all good fun, isn't it? You've got to, you've got to expect that, I suppose. I'm trying to get back in that LAV again here, look, and I do manage it. So off I go again. Bit of a drive back down, but it's quite a, quite a quick vehicle, this, so you can get down the fairly quickly. This particular game, um, I think we win this one, which I think as you saw on the scoreboard then we were, we were undermanned at this point. Um, the B, I think it is, which is the square, is such a hard node to capture. It really is. It's flat and open, it's surrounded by buildings. I've been there in vehicles, I've been there on foot, and people are up on the on the buildings all around it not you know not just snipers and stuff but um people with rpgs the engineers it gets counts up so badly uh, if you capture that it's not that hard to keep hold of it because you, know, you just surround it and you can overlook anybody that tries tries to come in it's got mines on it and god knows what else but apart from that i mean i what i quite like doing is running it right down one of the flanks here and getting right down the back there and capturing their nodes and then working my way back from, from their end, which seems to work reasonably well for me. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds a bit funny, I've got a feeling I'm coming down with a cold. Annoyingly. 
Don't need that, do I? Mind you, I suppose I could take time off work and play this damn thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so this particular um, game, we do win, as I say. I do quite well, I think. Um, a lot of people seem to be running around without a clue what they're doing. You know, they really don't know where they are. They don't know what they're supposed to be doing. Most of these new games are the uh, Conquest Assault, so I don't think people have quite are quite understanding Conquest Assault and what they're supposed to do. But they certainly don't seem to be capping notice effectively. Look at these two here. There's one. Where's the other one? There he is. Um, only got an assist for that. It's annoying, isn't it? But yeah, it's the silenced uh, A91, which is it's all right, but. I take the silencer off because it just <laughs> slays people so much more without the silencer. But yeah, so um, a lot of people running around, not really got a clue what they're doing, which is to be expected, I suppose. Uh, you know, people who've played the Battlefield series before know these maps, and then there's plenty of people who have never played these maps and are really struggling. Um, so you get these really random games. You know, your team, some of your teammates sometimes, you might as well be playing on your own. You just don't think they're doing anything. And then you get everything from the damn right idiotic and clueless, where they just bin vehicles, or they get in the back of your vehicle and don't repair you even though you're an engineer. One of my pet hates, I don't know if you've found this, but, you know, Bad Company 2, if you wanted, if, if there's a guy in front of you, like a support guy, and you could quite easily make him aware of the fact you know by spotting him effectively you could make him aware of the fact that you wanted ammo sorry the, the assault guy would give you ammo and this it's the support guy would give you ammo i've sat in so many games and needed healing or needed ammo and i'm pointing to a team i'm spotting like crazy and most of the time it just doesn't do anything and then even when it does i've got a feeling that they just don't hear you you know because there's nothing what, what it needs is they need to receive a fairly loud message that I need ammo or I need healing and then it needs to flash it up on the minimap somewhere or give them a clue as to where that's coming from. But, you know, you find you're getting ignored an awful lot and that's really not kind of uh, helping the gameplay, I don't think. Because you just stand there. I've run out of bullets as a sniper. And there was a guy in a skip on Caspian Border who was in a skip, support guy. And I was spotting him, spotting him, spotting him, like, give me some bleeding ammo, you know, I need some bullets. And he didn't do anything. In the end, I stood in front of him and got my tight light out, shone at his face, jumped up and down like crazy, spotted him like mad, and in the end, eventually, he threw an ammo pack down. I never had these problems on Bad Company 2. I don't think it's down to, say, new players on Battlefield 3. I think it's just down to the game. I think the, the game kind of notification system just isn't as effective. And, you know, it'd be really nice if DICE could sort of look into that and give us something for it. Anyway, rant over. Um, so, yeah, in terms of the of the maps, I've played them all. Um, Wake Island is great fun. It really is great fun on land or in the air. Um, such a movie, you know, the, the, the combat just ebbs and flows and then you've got these narrow roads that, you know, it's a big U-shape effectively. And you're forever driving down there in vehicles and then, you know, you suddenly pass an enemy going the other way in your vehicle and then one of you will turn around inevitably and try and follow the other. And meanwhile, you're up in the in the helicopter just slamming, raining down death on these vehicles. Still got the jet ramming going on, of course. That's still happening. Um, Sharky Peninsula is um, just a, a lovely map, quite frankly. And I have got some uh, footage flying over it in a helicopter, but I'm not. Uh, there's just not enough footage there to, for, to me to make a video. So hopefully tomorrow or something, I'll be able to get a decent game on one of the other maps and uh, and make a video out of that for you guys. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's me just basically taking that suppressor off because I didn't. Yeah, it just wasn't working really. I didn't find it that effective. Um, so yeah, Gulf of Oh Man. Um, yeah, it's okay. I mean, as a map, it's not its not one of my favourite maps. But it's alright. I tend to do an awful lot of running around in it. Um, I, I don't know. It just doesn't feel as... This, this particular map here, the Karkand map, 
always feels like you're not far away from the enemy or you're not far away from a fight or you're not far away from being able to catch something but go for Volman um, I don't know the games I played we just seem to be everybody seems to be collecting at one particular node kind of thing and then it was a bit of a run to another node because in, you know the vehicles have gone and, uh, and then you've got plenty of snipers who are up in high position so you end up having to snipe because nobody else is taking them out and I just didn't enjoy it as much you know uh, strike strike at uh, Karkan this one I quite enjoy um, Waycar and Wonderful and Peninsula yeah didn't gain long enough on Peninsula and one of the other sort of annoyances is, is you know it'd be nice if you could just basically at this point I know this only applies to console it won't apply so much to PC but you know we're limited to we only have the servers that DICE gives us, so if you want to play just the Carcan maps, um, you can't really because you have to you have to just go into a server and, it, and it's got a map rotation that's pretty fixed and they're all set up by DICE and EA, so you will, might get a Carcan map and then you might get uh, a normal map, which is a bit annoying because you just want to play Carcan maps right now, or I do. Having said that, the last few games I had towards the end of, of this evening um, they all just went back to back car can maps so I don't don't quite know maybe I was just lucky but uh, that was quite good fun but yeah um, A91 still loving this gun we get trapped in this bit here I know there's a sniper up on that roof he's already taken my uh, teammate out there he is so I tried chucking an RPG up there see if we can shift him I can actually kill him been a great little shot. Obviously, when you're trying to take a sniper out, you you don't get much chance to to look and scope in. You've got to sort of duck out and duck back in again pretty fast because if he's got that scope trained on you, it can be. Look at this! Is I think I get a double kill with a grenade here. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Because I saw those two on the on the mini map, so I just winged a grenade over. I was fully expecting them to run towards me because, like I say, this particular node is very very hard to get. You've got to clear the area around it before you can stand a hope and hell's chance. Um, but I threw that grenade over there and it actually took both of them out. So that was hilarious. That was unlucky, wasn't it? He's got the SG-553, so he's picked up one of the new weapons. The achievements, there's a there's a first sort of tier of, of achievements. They're quite, quite reasonably easy to get, actually, um, the first tier of achievements. And then that unlocks a second tier, which is uh, quite a bit more difficult. For example, a first tier one would be something like um, 20 kills with an LMG and two mortar kills. Or for the engineer, 10 repairs and kill an enemy with a repair torch. Now, kill an e I've, d I've done the, the um, 10 repairs, that's pretty easy enough. And then there was a guy who was lying prone in one of my games. And I should have just gone up behind him and killed him with a repair tool. I totally forgot about the achievement. And I just shot him. And I after I shot him, I thought, you idiot! You could have got that damn thing then. Um, the recon ones are quite uh, interesting. 20 sniper kills and 5 laser designations. Bizarrely enough, I didn't get my laser designations as a recon class. I actually got them in the back of a tank in the CITV station. So I picked them up that way. And, and you know, 20 sniper kills shouldn't take any anybody that long to do, really. Unless you really, really suck at, at sniping. In which case, you're probably not interested in the weapon it unlocks anyway. Anyway, that's it from me. Uh, like I say, I should really be in bed right now, so I just wanted to throw this thing together. Sorry, the commentary is not particularly interested. Interesting. I'm not feeling quite so well right now, and I just wanted to get this done. I'm very tired. I'm going to go to bed, so I'm going to render this and then chuck it up there. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, click like if you do. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. Take care, guys, and I shall have more footage for you soon.